Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your bonus tarot card reading focus on the blessings coming into your life. If you are returning to my channel, welcome. If you're new, welcome to the Tarot Empress channel. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So today I over ate and I thought to myself I should do these blessing videos. It's a really nice and warm day as well. I prefer the warmer weather. So let's see what sort of blessings are coming into your world. What sort of blessings are coming into Aries' world? So let's see. Very first card, there's a very big change that is coming into your world. This is a very powerful energy. It is linked to Pluto, okay? And we are approaching the Pluto retrograde. So I feel like if you haven't watched that, watched that video on uh, the effects that the Pluto retrograde is going to have on your zodiac sign, you should check it out. But I feel like there's this element of finalizations, there's this element of endings, there's this element of transitions, you know. It feels like a kind of energy where you just have to allow something to pass, you just have to allow something to, um, you know, make the transition that it has to make in your world. This is a blessing for you. You might not see it right now, you might not realize it, but it feels like it's going to be a very, very big blessing for you because it's signaling to you that it's time. It's time for you to accept this. It's time for you to get ready for your next chapter. It's time for you to embrace the changes that are coming into your life. You know, There are some people that enter into your life for a certain chapter. Some people enter it for a long haul. And other people, you know, they are just sort of there. You don't really know what purpose they serve they could be a fan or they you know in your own personal life or they could be somebody that is just admiring you so I feel like you know if you haven't already uh, looked up your birth chart and checked out certain things about it you know there's uh, certain components there that are very very vital to uh, the the kind of people that will enter your life, the kind of people that will be a part of your world. You have to really study it and analyze it very, very carefully. It's very easily done. You just, you know, get that information and then you look up and research the balance of it. Uh, but the reason why I'm mentioning this is that, you know, sometimes we have this idea that some people are meant to be with us for the long haul, or sometimes we hope that they would be. But people serve a purpose. People and places and situations, they all serve a purpose. They all are there as a lesson. After that lesson has finished, you know, if they're not meant to be a part of your next chapter, they'll go on their way. And it's okay, you know. So this could be signifying any sort of change in your life that is transpiring at this point. I'm seeing here yeah, another energy which is indicating that you are learning how to a blend things, you know. Uh, this card is all about mixing things up and I feel like you're taking what you have and you're mixing it up with what's coming. So I feel like these energies are very, very useful for you at this point in time because it's indicating to me that uh, not only are you going to have a different set of tools and resources at your disposal, you're also going to be able to, um, you know, allow for these changes to come into your world and bring what? Bring new opportunities, new beginnings, new chapters, you know, as I've been mentioning. And Spirit is telling you that it's eventually uh, going to uh, take shape and form and it's possibly going to be a very splendid thing to witness. You know, when you nurture something, when you love something, when you care for something, uh, when you're there for something in your world, only love can come off it. 
you can take any relationship or any situation that you have in your life right now. If it has been nurtured, if it has been loved, if it has been cared for, then it's going to have a presence there in your life. But if you have, like, for example, certain people that are part of your world and it's not really conducive to your growth, to your, um, you know, discovery of your, your inner self as well as your purpose, those individuals just seem to fade off, go off into the distance. It's with their exits you have new opportunities entering into your life. So this is very, very exciting. I feel like, you know, there's not just going to be one opportunity presented to you. I feel like you're going to have more than one opportunity presented to you. I also feel as if this is going to invite an element of balance, equilibrium. That's what I'm getting from these energy energies. There's an element of the great equalizer that's coming in to ensure that there's balance, there's harmony, there's fairness, there's justness, to ensure that, you know, in your life, if anyone has done you wrong, those energies are naturally returned back to those people. And, um, you know, no harm can come to you. It feels like there's this element of protection. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be, um, you know, really basking in who you are, really feeling very sophisticated in your world. It feels like that kind of energy where you just... You know, you don't have to really do anything. Opportunities just show up to you. It feels like that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's going to be a lot of favorable opportunities available for you in your work life, in your career. I'm seeing a lot of prosperous growth. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, chances that are going to show up and you're not going to know where do they come from, but it feels like it's going to lead to more and more. And, and there's going to be a lot of happiness here. So for those of you that are self-reliant, self-employed, or those of you that are working in an organization, whatever it is, it feels like it's, um, you know, it's taking you to your emperor status, as we can see with the next particular card. It's giving you that sort of um, power to call the shots, to step up into a leadership role, to make moves, power moves, perhaps for some of you. I feel like Spirit is telling you, uh, you're not going to have to wait for very long for this to show up in your world, whatever this is. You know, you are at the point where um, there's going to be a lot of important uh, choices. There's going to be a lot of things that are uh, going to be, you know, basically taking shape and form in a way that uh, you won't really anticipate it. You won't really, you know, have to deal with certain things anymore. Nice. Yeah, three of cups, lots of celebrations. I feel like, you know, as I was shuffling the cards, there were some other cards that came out here, yeah, but I'm not adding them to the spread. The, the message there, I'll sum it up for you because I feel like those factors are no longer a part of your world. There's going to be people that will feel a little bit hurt because you are moving on, moving forward, going forth, you know, uh, focusing on your own happiness, focusing on your own celebration. You can't be bothered with the people that are feeling left behind. That's the energy I picked up there. I didn't bother to put it up on this, uh, you know, tarot card spread, because I felt like it's so irrelevant, you know. Uh, life is meant to be lived, life is meant to be joyous, life is meant to uh, be, you know, surrounded by people who are meant to be a part of the picture. There will, there would be people from your past that have not necessarily supported you, loved you, or cared for you in the way that you deserve to be loved and cared for. They don't deserve a place on this tarot card spread, right? Uh, because people, you learn about who they are, when they are there for you, when you need them the most. That is a demonstration of character that is showing you, you know, I have your back, you have my back kind of energy. I'll take care of you. You can take care of me. It's that kind of thing that you want in your life right now and something that you will have. So the unpredictability, this kind of thing that might have come in, you know, into the world and shook it up to a certain extent, that is something that is moving away from you. I feel like you learned very well. Um, you know, the connections you have, the people you meet, the relationships you nurture, they factor into your well-being and into your happiness. So you are going to be a lot more selective in terms of the people you give your time and energy to going forth. I feel like, you know, for some of you, you know, this has been a process. It's been a journey of healing. It's been a journey of uh, recognizing your strengths, understanding um, who you are as an individual, and there's nothing that you have to feel bad about, especially about 
those individuals that can no longer join you on the next chapter of your journey. So what I want to do now is I want to pull some uh, oracle cards to get some additional insight. I feel like Spirit is telling you that you're going to be celebrating very soon. You're going to have some very good things to look forward to. It could take shape and form in your career. It could show up in light of the fact that you don't have to be patient for very long. That's what I'm getting from Spirit. I feel like the ball is going to be in your court. You're going to be calling the shots as usual. But I feel like more now than ever, uh, you're recognizing what you bring to the table. And I feel like you're not settling uh, for anything less than you deserve. Anybody who doesn't agree with what you're doing or how you do it, to hell with them. They don't make any difference in your life anyway. So, yeah, let's see. Let's get some oracle cards. Don't let your past hold you back. I feel like this is connected to the South Node, right? As it's mentioned here. You know, there is a very interesting article that is available in the tarotempress.com that deals with the North Nodes and the South Nodes energies, right? I'll put a link in the description box below. It's a very informative article that will give you a lot of information about your North Node and the importance of it. Some relationships that have come into your world or some situations that have unfolded in your world represents very much this black energy, right? And it's the past. It's the past. It, it can't um, move forward with you in your future. And you're just going to have to accept that, you know. You're just going to have to say, okay, that's fair enough. You may have lots of love for certain people in your life, but I feel like, you know, depending on how they act, behave, and interact with you, their energies might not be healthy for you. There's going to be some people that come, you know, with you to, uh, to this lifetime from a past lifetime, and they might show up in the form of siblings, parents. They might show up in the form of friends, lovers, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You know, uh, there is um, a set of circumstances uh, that were very interesting in my own personal life where uh, there was someone significant in my world that, um, you know, I discovered, along with the help of an astrologer, was actually, uh, you know, an enemy from the past life. And this person showed up as a sibling. And so when the time when I was born, uh, this person, you know, my sibling, ran off, left the home and didn't want to be a part of the family for uh, for the longest time. And there's always been this, this sort of uncomfortable energy between the two of us. So I feel like you make peace with these things. You allow things to be the way that it is. You don't have to uh, encourage these energies. You just have to accept them for what they are and, and don't bother with them, you know. So those kind of things, if, if you don't really care for them, don't really, um, you know, poke it with a stick as much as possible, naturally that energy is not going to follow you into your next life, things of that sort. So keep that in mind, right? So very interesting. Let's get another card. You know, sometimes in life, you'll ask yourself, you know, well, why is this connection not where I want it to be? Why is this relationship fractured? Or why is this situation the way that it is? If you have an opportunity, visit an astrologer, you know, or find out from somebody who has the ability to uh, look at the Akashic records, things of this sort. But make sure you, I would prefer to go to an astro astrologer because they know a lot of these things, you know. Um, but if you're willing to look at your birth chart and do the research and figure things out on your own, you can put it all together. You can put the pieces together and figure things out. So, you know, don't put that burden on your back and hold that weight on your shoulder just because something didn't work out. If you've been working things out with a certain person or a certain family member with a certain situation and you just can't, you know, make things work, just say, um, I'm just going to let this be, you know, I'm just not going to bother with this anymore. And it's okay to do so. Surrender to the divine, you know, surrender to the divine. It's a very powerful thing for you to do at this point in time to make peace with the people that are meant to be in your life and make peace with the people who are not meant to be in your life and just go forth from there. You know, you don't have to, um, try to make everyone happy. In fact, you're only really responsible for the happiness of your children. And if you have a spouse that is worthy of you providing them with happiness, then that person too. But uh, more than that, you know, if you have loving parents, then great. Uh, but uh, other people, you don't really owe much to, right? So keep that in mind and, and move forth holding your head up high. 
Uh, the past doesn't get to define you. Uh, the people that you leave behind, they were never meant to be a part of the journey. So have a wonderful day and take care.